an old favorite returns this week for our weekly grocery haul. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on today's weekly grocery haul. We went to Sam's Club, Walmart, Winn-Dixie, and we have an imperfect foods order, which I haven't done in a hot second, but they had a lot of proteins that we are out of stock of, and I wanted to get some of those. They have really great deals. I have a link down below if you're new to Imperfect Foods, see if it's in your area, and that link, link gets you like a crazy discount, so go and check it out. So let me take you down to the counter, show you all the things that we got this week for our family of four. Y'all have not seen an Imperfect Foods order from me in a hot second. I wanted to stock up on some things we have none in the freezer and got some other things that caught my eyes but super small order from imperfect foods i have a link down below that gets you like some crazy discount it's insane so definitely check it out if you're new to imperfect see if it's in your area they have a lot of things that get shipped right to your door you don't even have to leave your house and a lot of things that aren't available in stores local to us so that's why i really love it and they have things that are discounted price always trying to save that money right now, right? So I did get two boxes of the Nature's Bakery Oatmeal Crumble and the Apple and also the Strawberry. These were like intriguing to me. I've seen them in the stores before, but they were a pretty good price on Imperfect's website. It's 140 calories for one bar, two and a half fat, got 27 carbs and two protein. The ingredients are pretty minimal on the Nature's Own. You can get the big fig boxes from Sam's Club for a pretty good deal. I got these for the boys and for myself if I wanna do this for breakfast with coffee and maybe some like yogurt and have something with carbs and protein first thing in the morning. Thought they might be good to try, so we're gonna try those out. Got a couple of dips for Easter coming up because I know I'm gonna be bringing like snacky stuff to my sisters. We're gonna have like a big ol' to do and some sweet stuff too. But I heard that the Imperfect Foods roasted red pepper hummus is next level, so I wanted to give it a try. It is two tablespoons for 70 calories, and it is in good, good ingredients. And this Good Foods brand is pretty good. I've tried some things from them in the past. This is the spinach artichoke parmesan dip. This is dairy. This isn't dairy-free, but they do have dairy-free options, a lot of them on Imperfect, if you are dairy-free, by the way. Y'all ask me about dairy-free all the time. 70 calories for two tablespoons, so that is pretty good, and it looks delicious. Also got some Stacy's Rise Project Simply Naked Pita Chips. These are pretty good as far as the macros. You get 10 chips, 28 grams for 130 calories. So I'm going to bring those with the dips to have like better options and like chips and stuff, right? I did get three packages of the Big Easy Foods Wild Caught Gulf Shrimp. I mention all the time, guys, Walmart sells Wild Caught Gulf Shrimp too, but this was a pretty good deal. And I do like this Big Easy Foods. This is local to us here in Southern Louisiana and it's 80 calories for four ounces. I mean, y'all ask all the time how to get your protein in, but keep it low calorie. So many different ways. Seafood is one of the best low calorie, high protein options. So that's gonna be for a bunch of like shrimp tacos and dinners coming up. We have no mahi mahi. And if you've been with me since the beginning of my health journey here on my channel, you know that we love us some mahi mahi. And I love the Imperfect Foods one specifically. And this taco portions ones are great because they are cut pretty skinny to where you can put like one filet or cut it in half and put it on like street tacos or whatever. Super good. And speaking of the macros, y'all, for four ounces, it's 100 calories and 21 grams of protein. Again, cannot go wrong with the seafood options for the protein low calorie. And then this is a new product I've never seen before. This is the smoked Kali bratwurst, chicken sausage with cauliflower and roasted onions by Phil's Finest no antibiotics, fully cooked. It looked really good as far as the ingredients and the macros are insane. So it's 70 calories for one link, two fat, four carb, and nine grams of protein. There's your ingredients right there if you're interested. And I'm gonna give these a try, like maybe on some of those keto culture hot dog buns, or maybe even in like some kind of like pepper and onion and bratwurst bowl or something. I thought that would be good, but I wanted to just get one pack to try. These were a little pricey, not gonna lie, but if they're good, it will definitely be worth it. That's everything we got from Imperfect Foods. If I sound crazy, y'all, allergies, gotcha girl down girl down from the allergies so like i feel like my ears everything is like ringing you know struggles are real right now with the pollen and also if i sound weird and crazy that's second fine. stop was our local salvage store if you're new a salvage store is basically just a discount grocery store where they sell items they can't sell at like your big chains like walmart and such i paid thirty dollars and 44 cents for everything that you see here Super happy with what I found. It was super crowded in there, but every week I go, it's different stuff. It's crazy. And I could definitely go buck wild with what they have in there, 
but I don't because a lot of it is like not the best of the best. And I, as you can see, I do bring in some things, but I could go ham with the prices and with the stuff that's there. It's absolutely insane, but I do not. I try to limit it. So this is the first time y'all know I love this Pepperidge Farm swirl bread and the strawberry and in the brown sugar, I think, or the Texas toast, French toast. <laughs> I'm trying, words are hard today. Cinnamon with raisins, 100% whole wheat. I've never seen this one before. And the macros on this one, if you can believe it or not, are even better. So the other ones are between 100 and 110. This one's just 90 calories a slice. We've got 16 total carbs, one and a half fat, four grams of protein here for this with some like egg whites in the morning. Just a really easy breakfast. Or if I'm trying to get some carbs in post-workout, something like that. I love having this on hand, freeze as well, and this stuff is like so fresh, 99 cents. Also 99 cents, y'all saw last week, I hauled a bunch of their pasture-raised organic eggs for 99 cents. They had these today, which is the Eggland's Best Brand Organic Farm Fresh ones. Now the date on this one, the Best Buy date is April 22nd, and they were 99 cents. So yes, I have eggs on hand, but for this price and for the quality of eggs that are there, I mean, you just can't beat it. Everybody was like going ham. They had stacks and stacks of these, but not for long because it was so freaking packed in there today and everybody was jumping on that deal they had these food club whole strawberries unsweetened it's just strawberries macros are like 50 calories a cup for 145 grams in date really good i like this for myself or for trey instead of getting fresh fruit this week as far as strawberries go i went this route it's just cheaper and we like it so why not I had the great value diced hash brown potatoes in my cart and they are more than $2.09. This is the Orida brand for less than the great value brand. So that was a no brainer. It was in date. This is for the hubby. I'm going to be doing like a breakfast bowl meal prep for him. He loves breakfast all times of the day. So I'm going to do some lunches with that. So I was happy to see it for a better price and the name brand. This is something I've been looking for forever. I can't find it anywhere. So I don't know where this came from, where they got it because I can't find it at any grocery stores near me. This is the Ego Nutri-Green. So my girl over on Instagram, macros with M over on Instagram, she has all kinds of great like quick breakfast items that are macro friendly. And she had these on one of her like highlight reels, the Nutri-Green ones, because the macros are great. It's 170 calories for two waffles, four grams of protein, six fats. We got 24 net carbs there. Great to go on the side with another protein source, add some fruit on top of this. Quick and easy for 209. Are you kidding me? You can't even get the off brand for that price for waffles right now. So happy to see those because I've been on the hunt. I can't find them anywhere. I got some more tuna pouches. If you watched last week, I got some as well, but they had the Star Kiss brand and these are 90 calories a pack. And these are the sweet and spicy ones, the tuna creations for 87 cents. I thought that was a good brand. July 16th, 2024, as you guys can see. So that's a no brainer to have in the pantry for a quick protein option, throw it on salads, eat it for a snack, whatever. If you know, you know. I'm not even going to explain anymore, but these were a buck 88. I'm going to put this one in the freezer. I'm flying through this stuff. I'm using it in all different ways, and we are all in the household loving it. Don't knock it till you try it, I'm telling you. And as far as the people that have come for me for the ingredients in this, the slices are worse ingredients than the shreds, okay? So the slices do have the oil in it. That's not the best but the shreds do not. The shreds are actually not that bad. They're pretty, I don't want to say it's clean, but it's not, it's comparable to other shredded cheeses. What I'm trying to say, it doesn't have any types of oil. So if you don't want that, just stay away from the slices and just get the shreds, but I'm here for it. 40 calories a slice. Y'all know we love this green giant corn on the cob. This is the extra sweet 50 calories for a cob. I can't even find these at Walmart anymore. They sell them in the six pack for more than $2.79. I got a 12 pack for $2.79. That was a no brainer. I really wanted to get more. They had more than just two on the shelf, but I'm limited on freezer space. I should have posted a pantry and freezer tour already. I will pop it up above if you haven't seen it so you can see like what we're working with. But we used to eat these all the time and I haven't because I can't find them. So happy to have those back in our life. So yes, the elephant in the room, we got some marshmallow fruity pebbles. So sweet and rice cereal with marshmallows. The hubby and the kids, obviously, I mean, what kids do not. The hubby is obsessed with Fruity Pebbles. I've hauled these before from the salvage store, but they had these family size limited edition boxes, 20 ounces for $1.50 a box. 
and April 8th is the date on it. And we are running low on cereal. Fruit Loop cereal on hand that I hauled a couple weeks ago. So I went ahead and got this one for the hubby especially. And then y'all know I love all the zero sugar sodas that I can get at the salvage store or anywhere, period. And now I'm hooked because I tried them from the salvage store, the 12 pack in the cans, the A&W Zero Sugar Root Beer. The hubby loves them too. Like we can't get over how comparable it tastes to real A&W. It was like our jam way back in the day. So we are both loving this. These were more expensive than the 12 packs I've been buying for $1.99. The six packs of the bottles were $2.99, but I thought that was still a great deal versus buying them in store. So happy with the things that I got. I was able to take some things out my Walmart order. $30, saving those pennies when Next stop, Sam's Club online pickup. If I my voice sounds crazy, y'all, it's sounding better. Oh my gosh, earlier I sounded like a totally different person. Allergies got you girl down. So if it goes in and out, that's why. So right under $50, we did the drive up for Sam's Club. They did not short me this week. However, oh my gosh, I never get bananas from Sam's. Like they never have them in stock according to the app. But like, whoa, Nelly, we've got 100 bananas at this. These are like ready to go now. Y'all know, if you know, I love, me and the hubby love the spotted ones. But that's a lot to have to go through in like two days. So, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do about that. But we've been flying through bananas. So happy to be able to get them for such a cheap price over there. Way cheaper than Walmart, even though bananas are cheap in general. You get what I'm saying. Got some grapes for the boys. They're actually a little bit cheaper at Walmart. But they were out of stock when I made my initial online pickup order for Walmart. So I just went ahead and got these. They were just a few pennies more and we got a lot. So that'll last a while. I'm just getting like one of these every single week now. I'm obsessed and putting this on stuff for lunches, making dinners out of it. Yes, it's a little bit pricey, but the extra couple of bucks to save me time, it's worth it to me and it's delicious and macros are on point. So for two pounds for the price, you're getting 80 calories for three ounces, two fat, 14 protein and two carbs. It is really good highly highly recommend this is not for us the hubby is having a retirement party at work and they are doing like barbecue style and he was like assigned to bring potato salad and instead of me making it again saving time i got two five pound containers of southern style potato salad i would probably not buy this for us i would make our own but to bring to like a potluck or something it's not bad for the price and like the amount that you're getting so i told him i'd pick up two of those hopefully that's enough it's like a huge like retirement party he was like i don't know if 10 pounds is gonna be enough i was like make it enough son nobody got time for be buying all this stuff and making it at least not me anyway and then speaking of the hubs i got him a case of the members mark sparkling water you get the peach nectar black raspberry and strawberry lemonade eight of each 24 total bottles this is like almost five dollars cheaper than the sparkling ice name brand. So y'all know we used to buy that one all the time, but he likes this one and to save about $5 here for it 100%. So that's what we got, a little small pickup from Sam's Club. And going to put everything up, I totally skipped the chips. Y'all know these are for the boys. I like getting these. They're a great price for the amount that you get. Pretty good ingredients, be better than like Tostino's and stuff, which not saying we won't ever pick that up, but if I can get this one, it's in stock. This is the one I choose for their Taco Tuesday. They only get this on Tuesdays in their lunch boxes for Nacho Day. It's like one of their $20 favorite. $20 run into my local Rouse's supermarket. I was running in for one thing and then one thing turned into multiple things you know how that happens i know i'm not the only one so their three pound bag of potatoes were on sale again for 99 cents they've been doing this often which is awesome only got one because i don't need a ton on the meal plan next week and i have a few on hand so that should be good for us and that was such a killer deal i have never seen the chobani zero sugar in these big tubs like this y'all know they sell the cups at sam's and we're almost out they sell the cups at rouse's too but they're like hella expensive versus sam's but i was like dang 32 ounces. I think this was like five something. I know expensive, but this is going to be great for my yogurt bowls and stuff versus the little cups. And I guess it's probably cost efficient in the end. I don't even know, but I was just so excited to see the big tub like that. The boys will eat it as well. And then this was uh, me being hungry in the store and shopping. That's never a good vibe. And I've never seen these at Walmart before. They just have like the chocolate and the chocolate and the vanilla, but they've been sold out forever. This is the Dolce de Leche. Like what? Sugar-free Jello cup, 60 calories calories. Yeah, not the best ingredients, but they are good in a pinch and definitely good if you were in a calorie deficit and your girl is saving these for me. I'm hiding those from the boys 
faux show. And then I am on the hunt for the Fairlife shakes. My Sam's Club is totally out of like all of them. I know struggles are real. And I have a four pack in my cart for my Walmart pickup tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. You know how that works. And I love the Alani New Fit Shakes, the Munchies one. I haven't had it in a long time. It's 20 grams of protein and 140 calories for the entire thing, but I don't use the entire thing. Y'all know my coffee. I do about 140 to 150 mil, uh, grams of whatever shake in my coffee each day. So these are a little pricey. These are like 350 at Rouse's. I think it's cheaper than buying them at like GNC. So I went with two just to have them in case. And then these were on sale as well, 99 cents for all the Pepsi and 7-Up products. I love the Cherry 7-Up Zero Sugar. Y'all know I can only find it at Rouse's and Winn-Dixie and I haven't had it in a hot second. So happy to get that for especially a dollar. They're so freaking expensive at Winn-Dixie. And then I've never seen the A&W, not root beer, y'all, the A&W Zero Cream Soda. Have y'all seen this before? I saw them a couple weeks ago when Vanessa and Kira were in town and I was like, oh snap, I need to get that and I forgot. And I saw them today and being that they were on sale, I said, we gotta try that. And y'all know I like the Dr. Pepper one so much. So I'll update you guys in the vlogs how that is. But $20 for uh, something that should have only cost a dollar struggle. $15 spontaneous Winn-Dixie run-in haul and $94 online Walmart grocery pickup. There are like two or three items, four, I don't even know, should be shipped today. So if they come in, I'll show you what I got for the remainder of the $94 that you don't see here. So we got a bunch of produce as usual. We got a big bag of onions for recipes. I have a few, but I'm running low. I like to get the big bag. It's more cost effective. Y'all know we're trying to do the thing. We got some more tomatoes for the hubby. Most of you guys know I'm not a fan of like regular tomatoes, but I like all tomato flavored things. I know I'm weird. I got a Roma tomato for salads for him this week. Got some fresh parsley for a recipe. Got the carb counter, Banderita Street Tacos. We love these. I do have like half a package. I don't think I have any in the freezer when I checked my inventory. So I've got these for 20 calories, a tortilla. So whether you are keto or not. I don't buy them because of keto. I buy them because they're low calorie and for a deficit. And even if I'm not in a deficit, we love the taste of these. They're so freaking good. And they're a pretty good price, especially now at Walmart. I bought these last week, y'all, and I made macros with M's crunch wrap Supremes, and they are next level. 10 out of 10. I put them on the meal plan for lunch every day next week because they are that freaking fire. And these were perfect. Lavish flatbreads. These are the multigrain ones. They have like a honey oat one or something. And I think it's 100 calories as well. Haven't tried that one yet. Love these so much for the price and for the macros. Yes, please. If you know, you know, Slider Life, we are making Big Mac sliders from Elise Ellis's new April meal plan 2022. I'll have all of her stuff linked down below with a discount code. But we like using the Sweet Hawaiian Rolls by Sam's Choice because they are just a little less calories, 70 calories for one roll. These looked a little, a little smush, not going to lie. The ones I bought last time were too, but guess what? They work out just fine. Going back up here, we got some kiwis. I got these instead of getting like, I think this is what, two pounds? I think you get three pounds or four pounds at Sam's. I'm not going to go through that many. And these look like huge mamma jamma. I don't know how I feel about them yet. I ate a couple, as you guys know. I think mine were like super ripe. They were super sweet, even for your girl. I know that's saying something because I like sweet stuff. But we're going to keep on going because I do like the way they taste. And especially for the calories, you're getting a lot of volume as well. You know I'm all about that life. And I'm also about the Velveeta Shreds life. And we needed some more of the Mexican blend for the crunch wraps and some mozzarella for a pepperoni pizza casserole by Elise Ellis in this month's meal plan that I'm going to use the mozzarella for. It's going to be fire. Speaking of that casserole, we needed some turkey pepperoni and I got this Hormel one. This one is 70 calories for 17 slices, nine grams of protein for fat. You can't beat it. Turkey pepperoni specifically is getting limited, hard to find. And it's just, it's a problem, but this one seems pretty good. Um, last time I bought the pimento cheese, it was the, I don't even remember the brand. Trey was not a fan at all. Cause it was like imitation cheese. When I was looking at the ingredients, I was like, okay, the macros are good, but the ingredients are like poo compared to this one. This is real chunks of like shredded cheese. And I think that's what he's all about. And he does like the jalapenos. This one is pricey, 
but I wasted money on the other one, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? So like that one went down the garbage and we paid the money for it, even though it's cheaper. He likes this one for his Lunchables. That's the only thing he uses this on, or I will actually put a little bit of this on top of the broccoli and melt it up and he loves that for dinner, I know. Got some more deli meat, we needed some more ham, so I got the thin sliced Black Forest ham by great value. It's always out of stock, the deli meat at Sam's Club, or the variety is not as much as you guys tell me your club has, so I'm jealous because we do not have those options at my Sam's Club, so I get the great value kind. Got some lettuce back there for salads this week and for sandwiches. Just went with some easy romaine instead of getting the bag. That lasts a lot fresher than the bag kind, in my opinion. And then I got some Greek yogurt for myself. Yes, you saw me haul the Chobani, and I will eat that. But I had one of these for the first time the other day. The light Greek vanilla 80 calorie in the knockoff to the Dana Light and Fit. And I was blown away by the vanilla flavor. So freaking fire like i am next level obsessed i put some american dream nut butter on there with some blueberries and i'm like oh snap this is like my new favorite afternoon easy snack so so good so i got a four pack of those and then i've bought these for the kids you've seen me haul these many times but i have never personally tried i know what is my life an oikos triple zero yogurt i know i'm crazy but i got the banana cream for me to try the vanilla and the salted caramel i thought would pair well with some of the american dream nut butter and these are 100 calories each and 15 grams of protein so I'm excited to try those. Needed some condiments. I'm low on mustard. I know I need some. The boys are completely out of grape jelly. The hubby and Trey, that is their go-to favorite. And the Welch's Natural is good as far as ingredients. Crofters is a good brand as well. But this one is just grapes, sugar, lemon juice, and fruit pectin. And that's basically what your Crofters is as well. So I will buy that because it's, it's way cheaper than the Crofters. So if you have to choose between one cost-wise, get this one because the ingredients are basically the same and the boys like it. I've bought that in the past. I fly through this. This is like, oh my God, something that I always have to have on hand. I do like this great value one. I think it's very comparable to the Trader Joe's one. So I got one of those because I'm legit have this much left and I feel like I just bought this crazy. Something else I feel like I just bought was the great value kosher dill pickle spears. I love these on my little like anabolic charcuterie boards or just on the side of whatever lunch I'm doing because it's virtually nothing. I think it's like eight calories usually for each spear when you weigh it up with the grams. So I'll take it all day, every day. Got some of the farm to family butterball. This is the 98% fat free one. They also make a 93. We can't tell the difference and I can tell the difference on the macros. It's insane. 120 calories for four ounces, two fat, 27 grams of protein. Let's go butterball. So I got that for the pepperoni pizza casserole. She's got that mixed in with the pepperonis, which is going to be yummy. We are completely out of broccoli florets, according to my, if you watch my pantry, freezer, and fridge tour, y'all, that should be live. Go and check it out. We have none on hand. And like I told you, Trey eats one of these, a well, whole one of these steamed up with some pimento cheese for dinner all the time. And we like to have this for sides too. I mentioned that Sam's Club was out of all the fair life. I don't know what's going on, but I got this four pack, way more pricier than I wanted to pay when I can get a 12 pack for way cheaper, but it is what it is when you can't find it. And we got that Alani new, so that'll last me over. Y'all know this is the goat for me, the Cherry Coke Zero in the six packs bottles. Gotta have that. And then Easter is like here. Dang, Easter is here, y'all. So we are getting stuff prepared. They sent home flyers from school. They're doing Easter egg hunts at school for Trey and Waylon. So they each requested that we send in some eggs. And these are like huge. I was expecting these to be small for a buck ninety-eight. Like, let's go. These are huge. They have the little golden one Waylon's excited about. And they specifically said no chocolate candy because it's hot as hell down here and they're going to melt. So I, this was the only thing that popped up on the app and my kid, what kid doesn't like a freaking Skittle, right? So I got the Skittles packs. That's going to be easy to stuff in there for mom. And that way we can send that on its merry way for the egg hunt. And then last but not least from Walmart, I needed some dry shampoo. And instead of getting the Batiste, this last time, and the tropical is like my go-to, like the goat for me, but it hasn't been working lately on me the past few weeks. I don't know what's going on. I remember liking Dove. I wanted to get one of the other scents. They were out of stock. This was the only one they had. So I got the Dove Detox and Purify Dry Shampoo. So that's the one we're going with, and we're going to try it out. Like I said, I got a couple of things coming. Shipping, I'll show you that, but $94 pickup. Happy with that. 
And the pickup was out, Walmart was out of the Thomas 100 calorie English muffins. So that's what I ran in for because I knew that Winn-Dixie was doing a buy one, get one. It actually winds up being the same price as Walmart. So that's why I put in my Walmart cart versus going here. But being that they were out, it made sense. So I got two of these for the price of one. I think there were like two something each with the buy one, get one. Forgot that I needed cilantro and not just parsley, so I threw that in our cart. Also forgot that I needed some broccoli slaw for making shrimp tacos. I'm gonna do that broccoli slaw hack that Lauren showed us with the Bold House Ranch mixed in there. It was so good last week, so I cannot wait to have that again. Finally found the Starlight Coke Zero. Like, I've been on the hunt for this for like weeks. I have tried the regular version just to sip. And my thoughts from the regular version, it just takes vanilla and like fruity to me. I don't know. Everybody says it tastes like cotton candy. Y'all let me know what you think down below. But I'm excited to have a full on zero sugar one. And then I cannot find the Walden Farms sugar free syrup anywhere by me anymore. My Rouse is used to carry it. They've taken it off the shelves. I don't know what's going on. But these were buy one get one free. So it made them $2 a piece for these huge 24 ounces of the log cabin sugar free it's just 10 calories for two tablespoons it's the same ingredients and comparable to mrs buttersworth and i do like that one so i'm gonna have to like start using these versus my beloved walden's farm so went ahead and got those to put in stock because i am down to like one tablespoon left of walden so we gotta have that on hand and this was just 15 16 dollars at winn dixie and the pickup from Walmart. Just got my delivery. So it was two packages of the Great Value brand, Walmart brand, caramel rice cake. So I got the caramel ones for the first time at the salvage store. Y'all saw me haul if you watch the grocery hauls for just 99 cents. Now these are a buck 98. These at Walmart are $3 now, like everything's gone up, right? But these are 50 calories. And what I thought was interesting about these is that for three, it's 120 calories, which makes them only 40 calories a rice cake which is awesome. Same ingredients as the Quaker. And I thought maybe they'd be a little bit thinner and I'm feeling them through the package and they aren't. They're the same width. So I will let you guys know in a vlog. So make sure you have all your notifications clicked. Watch those weekly vlogs because I showcase all the things I buy in the grocery hauls and the vlogs and let you know if it's like a hit or a miss and if you should try it or not. And on Instagram in real time, I do the same thing. But I absolutely love these. I think this is my favorite flavor out of all of them. The chocolate, the apple cinnamon one's good too. I'm just not a fan of the chocolate one. And then the sea salt one, the regular one's 35 calories. It's great, but it's just like air. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't, I ate one of these actually today, just plain for an afternoon snack. And I love the taste of them. It tastes like caramel popcorn, like rice cakes, right? So it's really, really good. So hoping these compare because what I do is I put bananas and the American Dream nut butter on top and it's like my new jam. So if these are good, they're cost effective and less calories. That's gonna do Wait. it for this week's weekly grocery haul. Give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these grocery hauls here on my channel. And if you are new, I'd love to have you part of the family. So smash all the buttons down below before you leave. I hope y'all have an awesome day and an awesome week. This week coming up, hopefully we can get the grocery haul a little bit lower and try to condense some things and use what we have on hand. Watch that pantry, freezer, fridge tour because your girl's got a lot to work with. We'll see y'all in next week's grocery haul. Bye y'all.